Welcome to this video, the Phantom of Vision of the Pope being martyred on the hill with bullets and arrows. Let's begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the next portion of it is the road to Calvary. Having reached the top of the mountain on his knees at the foot of the cross, he was killed by a group of soldiers who fired bullets and arrows at him. And in the same way, there died one after another, the other bishops, priests, men, and women religious, and various lay people of different ranks and positions. The greatest persecution of the church comes not from her enemies without, but arises from within, from sin within the church. Again, Pope Benedict, Third Secret of Fatima, 2010. And this is from Louisa. If I told you about the religious side, how many sacrileges, how many rebellions, how many pretend to be my children, while they are my fiercest enemies? How many false sons or usurpers, self-interested unbelievers, their hearts are like Belgians of vice, these children will be the first to wage war against the church. They will try to kill their own mother. Oh, how many of them were already about to come out in the field. Now there is war among governments. Soon they will make war against the church, and its greatest enemies will be its own children. And another Marian apparition, Akita, in 1973. The work of the devil will infiltrate even into the church in such a way that one will see cardinals opposing cardinals, bishops against bishops. The priests who venerate me will be scorned and opposed by their confreres. Churches and altars sacked. The church will be full of those who accept compromises. And it sounds very much like the 1965 prophecy from Garabundal. And so the important part of this message that I want to bring out, and there's much debate regarding this as well, because um, the church has stated in looking at the, in the presenting the third secret of Fatima and publish, publishing it, that the person who that who, the person who was shot, Pope John Paul II, was actually the one being referred to here, who was on his knees and killed by a group of soldiers who fired bullets and arrows. The argument against it is that the person here, which is assumed to be the Pope, was not killed. So and it was, wasn't killed by a group of soldiers. Okay, so the answer to that is that these visions from heaven are very symbolic. They're not literal, but, and there's a lot of meaning in them. So when it says he was killed by a group of soldiers, again, not being killed physically, but there is an important part of this that does refer back to Pope John Paul II that I want to talk about, but it's more of a, a spiritual killing because we're talking about spiritual uh, Calvary and apostasy. So it's not, it's not Pope John Paul II being killed, but it refers to the representation of the Pope the bishops, priests, men and women, and lay people as being the mystical body of Christ. And it refers to the apostasy. Also, the meaning, and this goes back to Louisa, and one of the quotes we read previously, about there being a parallel between, or a repetition between now and the epoch of the Jewish people. If you look at Calvary, who was, who condemned Jesus to death? 
It was the Sanhedrin, the leaders of the Jewish people, and also the Romans. So you had two groups that were involved. And you have two groups here that are attacking the church. You have a group of soldiers who fired bullets and arrows at them. The ones who fired bullets are those who are further away, further away from the church. So they're the Romans. The ones firing arrows are the ones near. They, they are the ones inside of the church who are undermining the church and who are apostates within the church. And the apostasy, the apostasy as Pope Benedict said in the first quote here, the greatest persecution of the church comes not from her enemies without, but arises from sin within the church. Referring to this vision in 2010. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and God bless.